This was once the highest glacier ski run in the world, but it's on course to disappear completely in the next few months. At 5,300 metres above sea level, not much snow is left on Chakaltaya. This is what it used to look like back in the 1940s. Because of its closeness to the city of La Paz, the glacier is closely monitored by scientists. This group of Bolivian and foreign researchers is currently working on a project to measure how much water the glacier used to contribute to the artificial lake down below in comparison to rainwater. In the case of Chacaltaya in 1998, the glacier had a thickness at its deepest point of about 15 meters. Nowadays, there is almost nothing left of it. Ramirez says glaciers, such as these ones at the same altitude as Chacaltaya, are expected to disappear within 10 years. The region normally has a rainy season that lasts for up to four months, but this year it's already two months late and the lakes are almost empty. A national emergency has been declared in most parts of the country, as families suffer from drought. On top of this, half the country's electricity is produced from hydropower. The lack of rain, combined with the melting glaciers, could cause a future energy crisis, as well as water shortage. It's very difficult to predict exactly what's going to happen and how quickly the, the glaciers will disappear. But once they've disappeared, the, then it's going to be a real problem in terms of uh, access to water. And Bolivia is going to have to invest in, in major infrastructure. Back at Chacaltaya, one climate expert is determined to have one last bit of fun. This is Chacaltaya Glacier, or rather what's left of it. And I'd like to be the last person to go down on skis. Let's see what happens. Wow! Well, I've done it! In 1998, scientists predicted the Chakaltaya glacier would completely disappear by 2015. Now experts say it'll already be gone by early next year. Harriet Morris, The Associated Press.